Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. So for today's video we're doing like a little, not even a little, a big fat glow off. So when you see the next clip you'll see me looking, I mean you're, I don't look bad but I just needed a little spicing up, I was a bit of a mess. I've had my hair done, I've had my nails done, I've got some new accessories, not going to say too much. Um, but I'm going to make you wait until the end of the video to see that. But yeah I just decided to take you along with me over the last few days to just have a little glow up. Sometimes you just need to feel better about yourself. Like I felt like a toe at the start of this video. <laughs> and that's not me saying you need to go out and do stuff to make yourself feel better. Like just do what you love. Whether it's just sit and chill and watch Netflix, have a face mask, go get your nails done, hair done, fill out, whatever it is you want to do. If that's going to make you feel better, you do it girl. Yeah, I'm not going to ramble too much. So if you do want to see how I went from zero to 100, <laughs> Just keep watching. If you do enjoy this video, it means so much to me if you could give it a big thumbs up and of course subscribe down below for more. And if you do enjoy this kind of content, let me know because it's been really fun filming over the last few days and I'll definitely do more. Let's just get into it. Sorry about what I'm about to look like. So first step of the glow up, I need to not look like this anymore. Basically, this is not okay. Ooh, I've been to work and I look all shiny, gross. First step is to go and get my nails done. So I pulled my nails off last night. Don't recommend doing it, it is actually painful. Um, one of them was actually broke really low down which isn't funny so i used to go to this nail shop called glow which is like by my mom's house in birmingham it's in a place called celio i don't know if anyone's gonna know where that's from like if you're from birmingham you'll know celio and i used to go there all the time before lockdown like it was so easy to get an appointment i could get in every time i asked to get in but after lockdown they're just rammed all the time so they haven't had appointments for months so i haven't been there for a while i've been going to just like random nail shops and i've got like a phobia not a phobia but i hate going to random nail shops that i don't know but yeah i hate going to like these random nail shops because i think oh what if i don't like them i'm gonna have to pay for them and don't like them like that has happened a couple of times so i finally got back into glow which i'm so excited about oh, i will show you guys my nails after i think i'm gonna go for i was gonna have short short but i think i'm gonna go for like not long but not short, kind of like an in-betweeny length because I want like, I don't know if it's called French tips but not white, I want like dark blue to light blue on each finger and then dark pink to light pink on this hand so we'll see. I just can't wait, I feel like I've had my old nails on for so long. I don't, actually don't know how many weeks it was, like they were cute but it's just like the actual acrylic wasn't good, like the design of them I loved and the colours I loved, it was just like the actual shape and acrylic that the lady did that was just a bit yeah, I'm literally buzzing to go back to Glow, but I've got about 15 minutes to get there and I'm running late as always. I feel like nobody's going to be surprised at this point. And it's quite hard to park around there and it's a Saturday. But yeah, I need to open these windows right now because I'm so hot. So I'll speak to you guys and I've got my nails done. I've had them done and I actually cannot go. I'm honestly so happy to be back there. I just can't deal with going to like random little nail shops and coming out hurting your nails every single time. Oh, it's so cute. So I went for... I don't know what it's called, where the tips look like this. They've gone from like dark pink to light pink on this hand, and then on this hand, gone from light blue to dark blue. How freaking cute are these? This is the only way I could show you both hands, but how cute! I actually can't cope. So I got them done by this lady called Sh Sham. So it's like Shan, but with an M at the end, so it's Sham. She's honestly the best. I'm obsessed. Actually obsessed. Oh my god, I'm so happy. If any of you are from Birmingham, you really need to go because, oh my god, they're so cute. That's so cute. And I've booked him my next appointment. It's they didn't have exactly four weeks. So I've gone like a little bit over four weeks, which is a little bit long, but anything for cute nails. Oh my god, I'm actually in love. The glow up has finally started happening. Now we just need to get rid of these roots, sort out these extensions. I'm just so ready for a glow up. You know when you just feel meh. I finally feel like so me cute again. I don't know which side I like more either. Like the blue is so cute, but then the pink is also so cute. I love them. Can not cope. They are perfect. Right, I'll see you in a couple of days, guys, when this gets sorted out. This mess actually needs to go. Not good. Right. See you in a few days when finally this hair is coming out. Oh my god, I've also bought some clipping extensions just to do a little bit extra. I mean, I paid £600 for these extensions and I still went and bought clippings. I was going to hope that the colour matches, but it's like the only silver ones I could find. So, yeah, I'm going to include those in this glow up video as well. Yay, I'm so happy with my nails. Woo, glow up started. So the extensions are out. I'm officially bald. <laughs> I would show you guys, but I'm going to wait until I've like dried and straightened it because my hair, when it's wet, just looks like there's actually none there. So that's not something we need to see. It's finally hair day. I'm about to get my roots done, which honestly I'm so excited about. 
I need to retype all my extensions. She's gonna take a while, but we'll do it. We'll get there. Let's get the hair process started. It's a long process. It takes a good two days, but we're gonna get there. So let's go and get rid of these dark roots. <laughs> My extensions have been taken out, they're washed, they're retaped, and they're ready to go back in. But I'm, I don't really want to show you me right now because my hair's been bleached, we haven't put a toner on yet, so it looks a bit yellow. So I'm not going to show you me. Do you want to just show you a little sneak peek? <laughs> this is not the ugly stage. Oh, you seen it. This is not the ugly stage before it gets cute. Ready? Beep. Okay, that's all you're going to say. Yeah, we're going to put the toner on and then we're going to put these back in, which I'm really excited about. I just feel bold about my extensions. And as you can tell, there is a lot of hair there. So yeah. Can't wait to put these back in. The tone is probably the scariest part of the whole process because you look at it and you think, oh my god, it's going to come out bright purple, but it actually doesn't. It just comes out like the perfect ashy kind of grey colour, which is exactly what I want. So I'm going to wash this off now. It's been on for about half an hour. And then we can put in my extensions, which is not the favourite part of that whole process. The whole thing all together is my favourite part of the whole process because I love being grey. I love having no roots. I love having long hair. And yeah. And we are back. We're back in the room, I've got my hair back in and I just feel human again. My roots are done, everything just looks sick and I'm so happy with it. I've had it cut a little bit as well, so it's like a bit, well it's quite a lot shorter actually, but I haven't brushed the curls up yet. So we're going to do that now. So this, well as I said this is my hair done, but it's actually not. So I bought some clipping extensions, I don't know why, well I do know why, because I just want not my hair to look thicker. Like I know that it does look thick, but I want it even thicker than this. So I bought these. These are the Foxy Locks Silk Seamless Superior Extensions. And I got the shade Silver Fox and they're actually the perfect colour match for me. I was a bit scared to order like silver extensions online because I just think like... I thought they were going to look like too grey, not the silver that I am, but they're actually the perfect match. But yeah, I got the 22 inches ones. And they actually look the perfect length for new extensions so i'm gonna put these in now and that will be hair complete and then we're gonna do makeup outfit i'm gonna show you my new watch which i'm really excited about oh my god we've got loads of hair here this is exactly what i needed oh my god i'm gonna have so much hair in my head my head's gonna feel so heavy yeah yeah i'm excited to put these in they've been in the box for a few days and i've not put them in because i wanted to wait until my roots have been done there's so much hair here. I'm not going to bore you guys with putting them in or doing my makeup because I've literally just uploaded a get ready with me where I show you like my everyday makeup, which I'm probably going to do it again today. So there's no point me showing you that again. But I have bought some new products recently. I've gone on like a little spending spree. I've treated myself to a few new bits. Um, so Morphe had a big sale and I think it would have probably ended by the time this video is up. But if it is still on, I will leave the link down below. But I've decided to treat myself to some new lip products. So I've got three lip liners here. These are £2 each. £2 each, usually £4.50. I've got the shade Spiffy, Honeymoon and then Richie. Richie is a really nice dark brown. This is like a normal kind of brownie nude colour. This one looks kind of brown but in, when you actually swatch it it's more of a pinky nude but that's still cute. And then I also got three of the lip glasses so we ordered two of the same one on accident but it's a cute colour so I don't actually mind. So this is the shade Famous which is like a nude sparkly colour which is really cute. The reason I actually went onto the Morphe website to look at the sale was this lip gloss. So when I went to Nottingham with Shan we went into Morphe and we both really wanted this lip gloss but it was sold out. But it was like a sign not to get it because now I've got it for £5 instead of 12 and it's the Madison Beer lip gloss in the shade Mercury. Look at the colour of that. I'm definitely going to be using this today. And I might also use Spiffy. Yeah, I'm going to put my extensions in and do my makeup. And then we're going to pick an outfit and that is the glow up probably complete. I don't know what to wear because it is sunny and warm today but it's a little bit cloudy so I'm feeling not short. Probably. Maybe like jeans and nice top vibes. Maybe we'll go for that. Right, I'm going to go do my makeup and then I'll see you guys when it's done. Hair and makeup is done. I'm actually obsessed with these eyelashes. And the lip combo I used was... I used Morphe, Spiffy and then I used... Oh, just a little bit of concealer in the middle. And then I also used the Madison Beer gloss on top. I think it's so cute. It's like the perfect nude shade as well. These lashes... Literally look like I've got eyelash extensions on. How sick are these? My hair as well. I literally feel like a princess. I've got so much hair in my head right now. It's so thick. But now we need to pick an outfit because this outfit is not cutting it. Like we need to dress cute. We don't want no more baggy clothes. We need something nice. Thank you. I've got two wardrobes full of clothes and watch me not be able to find anything. I've actually had like a bit of a wardrobe sort out. So I've got these two sets of drawers from IKEA just to ha put in like all my little crop tops. This one's half empty. That's why I'm going to keep like all my new ones. This is all like my Zara ones. 
um, ones that I don't really wear, and then just other bits in there. And I've got another empty drawer there. But these were literally twelve pound each. So they're the best thing I've ever bought. Like I needed more room because this was just rammed. So these are perfect. And so, like I said, they're only twelve pound each, and they fit in there perfect. And I've just got my heels in the middle. I feel like we're gonna have to pick from this side because all the stuff in this wardrobe is just like joggers and comfies. Actually, I've got a few jeans down there. I feel like I might wear pink jeans and then the top that I bought in Bournemouth that I've never actually wore. What are we saying? I might whip out this little off white top that I bought in Bournemouth because I haven't worn it yet. Not that I'm actually even going anywhere. But now that I've done my hair and makeup, I want to look cute. So I feel like I might whip this little top out. Right, I'm going to get changed. But of course, with a cute outfit, you need some cute accessories. So I'm going to get changed and then we'll talk like accessories. I've got my outfit on, but like I said, no outfit is complete without some kind of like something something first i'm just gonna pop on my two necklaces these are both from a stars they're not even gold anymore but you know when you just love something too much to part of it that's me with these necklaces i need to just order some more but i don't know i wear them every single day so they're literally not <laughs> gold anymore i always get questions about my necklaces so if i can find the link for these what, exact ones i will link them below cute i just feel like you just need something especially when you're wearing like a low cut top like this that just like spices it up a little bit. And then I'm going to pop on my rings, which I literally wear every day. This one's Fendi. And then this one is Dior. And then this cute little bracelet that Shan got me for Christmas, I think it was. Cute. And now the star of the show. So I've always wanted like a nice watch to just jazz up your outfits. I think new watches just look so classy. And my wrist just looks like a little bit bare with nothing else on. But I've never been one of them people that wants like an expensive watch. Like I don't want a Rolex. There's just so many other things that I want to spend like the majority of my money on. Like I'd rather save for a mortgage than splash out a thousand pound on a watch. So when Nima reached out to me, I was like, oh my God, I would love to try one of your watches. So I want to shout out Nima for sponsoring this part of the video. Guys, if you want a bougie looking watch that's literally under a hundred pounds, you need to go on to Nima. They've got men's, women's, they've got silver, gold, rose gold, any colour you can think of, they're all on there. I'll just show you their website. So look, they've got pink, they've got blue, they've got black, silver, so many different colours and so many different sizes as well. So they've got like, if you don't want like a big watch, they do do like the smaller ones like this. And this is just the women's, but there's literally so many to choose from. So all of these watches are handmade and some of them feature like wood and marble. Oh my God, mine is so pretty. So this is what the packaging looks like. And then you open it up. I feel like you can all guess what colour my watch is like she's so pretty so obviously i went for gold like i'm just a gold gal now i used to wear silver um but i'm now more of a gold girl so so this is the liza watch um let's see if it fits actually i think it's a really good size like it's not too big to the point where it looks like manly because i know men's watches are a lot chunkier but it's not too small either i think this is so cute and i went for the white face as well you can get gold i just thought the white one was a little bit more like it would go with more of my outfits if i put white in there this is just not the most satisfying thing it's like when you get a new phone and you have to take the plastic off it. Now I just need to set it to the right time. So it's, oh my God, the time is 17.38. <laughs> no way. Oh my God, so I've put it on. It actually fits perfect as well. Maybe it's a little bit big, but it's so beautiful. I've just set the time on it. You can get the date in there as well. I need to work out how you actually change the date, but how cute is that? And I feel like it just dresses an outfit up so much more as well. Like you don't need to be spending thousands on watches for it to be look cute this is under 100 pounds what can i say oh my god i'm so in love it's so pretty i love the color gold it is as well it's like a really bright yellow gold and i'm really happy i went for the, the white face but like i said you can get gold you can get literally any color of the rainbow i will leave that website down below for you guys in case you want to go and treat yourself to a new watch there's literally a watch on there for everyone and you can be bougie on a budget like me how freaking cute is that i'm actually in love with it so yeah a massive shout out to nima for sponsoring this part of the video but yeah, I'm going to show you a full on outfit and then you can compare me what I look like at the start of the video to what I look like now. It's a lot of a difference to be honest. This is my outfit. So like I said, I've got the off-white top on, pink Zara jeans. I would put shoes on, but it's kind of pointless because I'm not actually going anywhere. But sometimes you just need to like invest a bit of time into yourself. Just make yourself feel good again. Like I actually feel human now compared to what I did at the start of the video. My nails are on fleek. I'm obsessed with these still. Pink on one hand, blue on the other. Got a nice new watch to spice up my life a little bit. I'm not saying you have to go out and get things done to feel better about yourself or put your makeup on or get hair extensions, but just do things that make you happy and having my hair done, having no roots, getting my nails done, just makes me feel so much better about myself. Like I feel 
somewhat humid again but i'm gonna end this video here so thank you so much for watching this video it was like a little bit of a different one it took a good few days to film like it was a long process but we've got there in the end but i'm gonna end this video here so thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy smash the big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below for more don't forget to treat yourself to a new watch the link is in the description as well and i'll see you guys very soon with a brand new video